All right, hey there, friends. Sorry, the voice is a little echoey. We just put in this gorgeous uh, laminate flooring. And as you can see, we are working on quarter rounds all the way around here. Now, most of the angles in this room are all 90 degree angles, but we've come to a position where we're gonna be doing a 45 degree angle. And uh, this is a little bit tricky uh, because you, you do have to make sure you make appropriate cuts in the opposite direction, but we're gonna be working first with a quarter round that is gonna move directly in here and uh, be slotted in. And then a second one will come in from this direction and be slotted in just like that. So I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna make my first cut to show you how to get that appropriate for your placement on the 45 degree angle right here. Okay, so you saw our 45 degree angle cut that we're gonna to need to make. Here's our quarter round, the length that we need for the left side of that wall. And uh, what you're gonna do now with your, uh, your little skill saw here, the, uh, the slider compound saw, uh, what we're gonna do is actually split the difference of that 45 degree angle. And you can do this again on 90 degree angle cuts as well. So if we're doing a 45 degree angle, we actually need to split the difference. We're gonna move this saw over 22.5. That's half of 45 degrees. And we're gonna make the cut first for the, the left hand side of the quarter round with the with the saw coming in at this specific angle. So as you can see, the saw has the ability to swing over here. What I'm gonna do, and this is a little bit different on, uh, on different saws, but I have a little knob here I'm gonna loosen up. And then I'm gonna come over here and you can see the little red arrow, and I'm gonna move that all the way over to 22.5. You can see they actually have markings for it since 45 degree angle cuts are so popular. Once I have that down, I'm gonna come back over here to my knob. Let's get that back down and, and tight. And we are ready to make our cut. Now again, because this is exact length we need it at, um, we're gonna make sure that when we cut, we come down with the saw blade right on the very edge of that guy. You can see what we're gonna do and it's gonna give us a nice, beautiful 45 or 22.5 degree angle cut. So again, make sure your line is lined up correctly with that tip of the edge right there. All right, for safety reasons, I'm gonna make this cut here and then we'll, uh, we'll show you how it looks. Okay, and there she is cut. You can see just barely a little sliver kind of came off. Again, be very careful with these saws. We're gonna take this upstairs and make sure that fits directly into our 45 degree angle. Okay, I've got my quarter round that's been cut now. Again, make sure you remember which side is gonna be the, uh, the base. I'm gonna move that over into place all the way over to the corner, and that gives us a great, great half, 22.5 degree cut. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure this space. I'm gonna cut another quarter round to that length, and then we're gonna actually move the saw in the opposite direction and make that, uh, that opposite cut right here. So I'm gonna, let me measure this really quick and let's get our quarter round cut to length. Okay, so we're back out at the saw. You can see this is the uh, length that I'm going to need. Be very, very careful when you're working with these small pieces. We're gonna be using some support blocks to really make this cut correct. But what we need to do now with the same side down on the quarter round, I'm gonna need my 45 or 22.5 degree cut, I should say, on this end. Now to make that, we're gonna to have to take our saw and we're gonna swing it. What I've already done is loosened up our little thing here and we're actually gonna swing it all the way back over to 22.5 on this direction. And there you go, we're gonna lock this into place now and we're gonna make our cut. Again, we're gonna come in at that angle and make sure that it comes down and taps right on that that corner piece so your measurements stay the same. Again, for safety reasons, I'm gonna lock this in and we're gonna give that a nice cut and we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, there she be. Nice and, uh, and beautifully cut. That'll be our other 22.5 degree. Let's bring this upstairs and let's make sure that slides in real good. Okay, so here's our small piece cut and basically we're just gonna be able to slide it right in there. Now again, my measurements were a hair off on here this is probably because it's an older home and so you're getting a little bit of the baseboards moving out. I'm just gonna trim that up a little bit to make it kind of uh, 
beautifully uh, correct there, but uh, might need to also put a little bit of putty and some, some uh, uh, paint on that. But that's the basic concept. Again, if you have a very true 45 degree angle, that's how you're gonna be cutting your, uh, your core rounds or your, uh, your baseboards. Hope that has helped, folks. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, we're gonna do more tips and tricks and on uh, DIY how-to projects coming up soon. So take care and uh, make sure you subscribe.